Hey friends, as you can tell by my animal ears, these are panda ears because today's video is inspired and sponsored by Slots LV and their adorable game called Royal Panda Pursuit. Slots LV is a fun escape where you choose your own adventures via beautiful gaming designs and emerge yourself into worlds, match things up, and meet exciting and very cute characters, such as this panda bear that we're gonna be turning into while telling some spooky stories. Today's stories are gonna be all creepy animal encounters in the wild. So let's turn into a very cute panda while telling some spooky stories about wild animal encounters. This first story comes from someone named Southern Snowshoe Online. I was fishing in the Southern Cascades once when I was about 13. I was by myself about a mile from camp and it was just about daybreak. I was angling for trout on a tiny stream. It was quiet and peaceful. Then I heard a twig snap and I saw him. A beautiful big cougar sitting a few yards away on the opposite bank watching me catch trout. Although I didn't feel like I was in any danger because the cat was not acting aggressively or in a stalking manner. Still, it occurred to me that if that big cat wanted to take me down, he would have done it and I probably would have never known what hit me. This story comes from Smoky Tower Online. I was 10 years old and out moose hunting with my dad, uncle, and my brother. The area had some bear signs, claw marks on trees, and such but we always made camp there so it wasn't a big deal so a couple days in my brother and i were walking about in the forest and he found this really cool stick overcome by jealousy i took it that night and i hid it up one of the trails leading out of camp the next day i went to get it alone and as i was walking up the trail only about 30 feet from camp some brown bear cubs popped onto the trail in front of me followed closely by their mother. It was huge. It was looking at me and I was so scared and it was only 15 feet away from me. The cubs ran up a tree faster than you would believe. The mother started to walk down the trail towards me, kind of slow, sizing me up. I started back up towards camp, walking backwards it felt like ages before I got back to camp. My dad was in his camp chair with a gun on his arm facing the other way. I told him there was a bear and when he raised his gun, that brown bear scrammed off really quick. It must have been shot at before because it recognized a gun. I could have been hurt really bad that day. This next story is from Leas123. My grandma owns property around Florenceville, Texas. It's a wooded area, so encounters with big cats, coyotes, bears, and boars are common. My grandpa used to spread deer corn out in a patch of sand in his backyard, so he'd be able to see what's in the area to hunt. He'd either stay up late to watch or see what's there still in the morning. Usually there were signs of boars rooting for corn in the sand. Sometimes as a kid, I go out to throw corn around to attract more deer and unintentionally end up attracting more boar as well. When I was around eight or nine years old, I went out around sunset to start throwing corn around with what I managed to fit in my tiny little pockets. I wandered a little farther than usual and when it got a little harder to see, I started to head back and I could hear something walking behind me. I assumed it was a deer that I didn't see or I just started dropping corn behind me. My grandma was outside with a flashlight yelling for me to come home. As soon as she saw me, she pointed her flashlight at me and screamed for me to get inside. I had no idea why, but the way she screamed scared me to death. She picked me up and ran inside. My grandpa, who had a bucket full of deer corn, dropped it as he was pouring out the corn and ran inside as well. They closed the door, and when I was put down, my grandma was checking if I was okay. I didn't hear her questions because I was just staring outside. 
It was probably the biggest boar I'd ever seen in my life that stood outside sticking his nose into the bucket that had been dropped on the floor. Two or three more boars could be seen in what little emitted light came in from the windows. Apparently, my grandma shined the light on me and this big boar was standing right behind me, just calmly following me. I had no clue until my grandma saw them. From what she told me when I got older, if this thing suddenly decided to charge at me, she would not have been able to help me. Boars are notoriously aggressive and extremely quick. They're destructive to the environment and invasive, hence why the state I live in has no regulations when it comes to hunting boars. Yet an absolute massive one followed me home patiently and ate corn like it's a normal thing to follow kids around. This story is by Stupid56. I used to live at a place where the backyard, which was small, ended in a small cliff at the bottom of which meandered to a small river. The yard was mostly wooded, and one time when I was standing near my back door, an osprey flew by me so close that the tip of one of its wings brushed my cheek. Another time in another location, I was sitting in my car, which I had backed in. I was in my driveway around 2 a.m. or so, looking at the house in the woods across the street, and also at my phone. It was misty and foggy night in late August, and there was one working street light about 20 feet from my driveway. At some point, I became aware that I was being watched. I turned my headlight to the right and saw a black bear on all fours about 10 feet away from my car. The bear was large, definitely over 300 pounds, and had long fur which waved gently in the breeze and appeared to shimmer in the mist. Most memorable though, the bear was standing parallel to my car. He had his head turned and was just gazing straight at me. I was transfixed. I had never seen anything so magical as that bear before, and I've seen lots of bears in other wildlife. He was mesmerizing and otherworldly. I would venture to say it was almost supernatural. The bear and I looked into each other's eyes for what seemed like at least a minute, and then he turned his head and walked past my porch and into my backyard. I should also say that someone I was close to had died a few years before the bear made his appearance. That misty early morning, and that person was a bear man. He knew everything there was to know about black bears and was a legend in some circles. I have wondered if that bear was a sign of sorts, as I was having a difficult time and was on the verge of losing everything. I've had a few other unusual encounters with New Hampshire's wildlife, but those two encounters have stuck with me. These stories are by Crowman VT. I have so many stories like the time I was training my sled dog team and we came around a blind corner to find a moose in the middle of the trail. I slammed on the brakes and he quickly assessed the eight barking canines and scampered into the deep snow off trail to disappear into the woods. We continued to train on those trails for several years and without fail, every time we got to that corner, the entire team would surge toward it looking for that moose. At some point, I was running completely different dogs than those who had been on that team in the first encounter, but the hive mind was contagious, and the response had clearly been passed along to the youngsters. Then there was the time I ran over, and I do literally mean over, a moderate-sized black bear in my S10 pickup. I was early in the morning, five-ish, and I was heading into town to look for a lost dog that had bolted on me the night before. I hadn't slept well because I was worried about this dog. I came around a corner on the dirt road with the bank on the right side. The bear came flying down the bank right in front of me. The whole front of the truck jumped up in the air and then dropped down as the bed rose up like it was on a teeter-totter before the rear slammed back down to the ground. I caught a glimpse of the bear running into the woods from my mirror. I stopped and sat there for a minute thinking, what had just happened? Then I proceeded into town because I was still on 
partially awake but worried about the dog. I looked for her for a while, then drove home on a different road. I fell asleep on the couch for about an hour, and I woke up thinking, wow, what a completely crazy dream. And also, I should have gotten up early to go look for the dog. I drove back down the same dirt road to find a substantial pile of black fur right in the middle of the road next to the bank. Oh my goodness, I wasn't dreaming. I really did run over a bear. I got out, looked at the fur, and noticed how the plastic under the bumper was all scratched up, and there was fur stuck to my undercarriage of my truck. I've long wondered how badly injured the bear may have been, and whether he survived or succumbed to an injury. This story is by Skate and Code. A few years ago, I was training for the Marine Corps Marathon. One day in Wolfboro, at the rail train, I had my long run, which was about 11 miles or so. About halfway into the run, I see a little black bear crossing the trail. It stops and stares at me and scales up a tree. Me being an Arizona native, never seeing a bear before, is thinking, oh, how cute of an encounter this was. Then immediately reflecting on every wildlife movie I've ever watched, it dawned on me that mama bear has to be nearby. Yep, she showed up about five seconds later and I'm about to poop my pants. I ended up slowly backing away until she was out of sight. About 15 minutes or so, I ended up rallying and finishing up my run, never seeing the bears again. The funny part is, on my way back, I pass a fellow jogger and in passing, I warn them about my bear encounter. In hindsight, I feel sort of bad because I probably instilled some level of fear in this stranger who likely was paranoid that he was going to get an encounter by a bear for the duration of his run. Anyways, it was my first and only time I've ever seen a bear in the wild. Pretty cool and terrifying and kind of a funny experience. And that was all of the crazy wildlife animal encounter stories I could find online. I hope you enjoyed listening while I turn into this panda bear inspired by Slots LV, Panda Pursuit, Royal Edition. Don't forget to discover Slots LV to meet this panda. So cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was so incredibly hard to put on and remove. This is probably one of the most challenging makeups I've done in a very long while, but I enjoyed it so much in creating this video for you all. Thank you so much to Slots LV for sponsoring this video. Do not forget to tune into this channel for more spooky stories and magical makeup transformations. I post videos every Friday so you can subscribe for some more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!